Greetings, friends in Christ. I'm here with Father Nick Adam, and we are enjoying our time together on behalf of our seminary formation program and the fine candidates that we have. And actually, more than candidates, this month we celebrate the ordination to the transitional diaconate of Tristan Stovall and also then the ordination to the priesthood coming right behind that of Deacon Carlisle Beggarly. And so I'll let Father Nick elaborate on uh, this good news. Yeah, Bishop, so we're really excited. You know, Tristan is from Philadelphia, from Neshoba County, uh, and Carlisle is from West Point. So the eastern edge of the diocese, uh, thank you for your prayers and thanks for raising up these young men. And, um, and so it's wonderful to have Tristan and Carlisle getting ready to be ordained. And so, um, yeah, Tristan's ordination will be at 1030 on Saturday, May 20th. Uh, Carlisle's will be at 1030 on Saturday, May 27th. Um, so please join us at the cathedral um, as we celebrate um, these uh, new um, clerics. You know, Tristan, a new cleric, and Carlisle, uh, our newest priest. That's wonderful. Yeah, very excited. And then this summer, you know, we, uh, we're going on a little excursion. I several know. Several of us, of I know. myself and several of the seminarians, we're going to Mexico uh, to do an immersion, a language immersion uh, in Cuernavaca, Mexico. And... Uh, you know, I, I can say for myself, you know, as a new, newish priest, um, you know, I've quickly realized that, you know, one of the best skills that we can have is just to be adaptable. Like, we're going to be put in parishes that are primarily English, full of English speakers, some primarily full of Spanish speakers. The one I'm in right now is about half and half. And so, so we want to make sure, you know, I think one of the biggest things as a vocation director, and I know that you care about deeply is is making sure that we are just able to encounter people uh, and that we that we equip our seminarians to encounter um, the people that they're ministering to and the parish that father Nick is talking about is our beloved cathedral yeah. um, with the longest standing I believe uh, Hispanic community uh, in the diocese so we we just have that very rich cultural diversity and uh, as you said, that adaptability and zeal yeah. to want to expand our God-given opportunities to serve the people of God uh, in the best way possible. So that yeah. that's that's wonderful. So we're excited. We're 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 going to ordain Tristan, that he's he's part of the group. So he's he's jetting off with me down to uh, to Mexico. So, um, but I really I do want to take an opportunity just to thank everybody for. Um, supporting vocations in many different ways you know we just got a great gift from the Knights of, from the state Knights of Columbus councils from in our diocese um, we do of course the Catholic Service Appeal uh, a large um, um, source of, of our uh, budget comes from CSA donations each year um, we started our homegrown harvest we're going into our fourth year now and we've raised more money each year and um, it's just been wonderful and now we're starting our women's burst club uh, which is um, if you haven't heard about that, um, if you're a woman in the diocese, chances are you'll be getting a mailer uh, pretty soon to to show you how to be uh, prayerfully involved in the cultivation of new priests, but also um, to um, put some financial investment in our future priests as well, if you're able. So um, at this time of year, I'm just like blown away. We're, we're here. We get to have, you know, with our numbers of Catholics for one thing, but also just priests, like to add one priest... It's a huge, it's a mm -hmm. huge gift. And we're just so grateful for the prayer, the generosity, the just the growing support around the diocese. And I'm grateful to Father Nick and all who assist him in this critical ministry of uh, vocation director and also director of seminarians. And so at this time, we extend to everyone a, a blessed ongoing season of Easter heading toward Pentecost, and also this month, Happy Mother's Day to all our beloved mothers around the diocese.